Okay, so um, I will show you how to create uh, this um, star uh, kind of fish uh, flower. So what you, the flowers um, for your project is the best way to uh, use, um, excuse me, to create the flowers for your project is the best way to use your scraps okay um, so uh, well uh, because is my um, my theme is the blues and and uh, and browns I chose my inks tea dye and broken china but um, it's not really you know you might not even uh, need those so um, I die cut it um, with Tim Holtz tethered um, florals. That's my to go uh, die. And um, if you can take a look, this reminds me of uh, uh, Sea Star and uh, this and this. So, um, this very versatile type of dye and if you don't have that one I would uh, strongly recommend you to um, to get some so what we're trying to um, achieve um, look like this okay so um, so we did cut I did cut it like um, different you know uh, patterns all of them and actually I use some other scraps of the other papers and some of them they were printed so in this case when they were printed and you have the edge then you use your inks and uh, on the um, ones that are clear white on the um, back I would recommend to ink them to color, give them a, a little dimension um, because these guys are going to be um, the ones that will show this, this type of flower, the star kind of flower, okay? And like I use in this plain uh, cream cardstock, I would recommend uh, for dimension of the petal to um, ink the uh, tails of it as well. So, what you do not, so I will go through this file, okay? So, what you need to uh, touch, do the touch ups only on uh, this shape of flower on uh, um, that type of rosette on rosette on um, small and larger rosettes okay so you do not need to do the touch-ups on those because we're gonna be um, folding them okay so let me uh, but these two types the tiniest the tiniest one and the star if you are not using uh, double-sided uh, um, double-sided uh, cardstock then I would um, suggest you to uh, do those uh, touch-ups so let me finish that and I'll be back with the next step okay so I finished um, inking my um, flowers and on the blues I use the blue on the browns I use the brown and if you're a perfectionist uh, like I am, um, I would recommend to do them all. So, but you don't need. So next, grab your um, foam piece. Well, this is one for 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 stitching, um, but it's it works fine with everything. So, and your um, tools, you know, embossing tools. Okay, so for you're gonna say like, okay, Natasha, give me a break. I don't have that. Don't worry. Um, the old um, piece of foam will work for this, or your old um, 
mouse pad you know from your a computer mouse so get something just a little bit cushiony do not need to be that thick so something like that or a couple layers of felt of fabrics something that could give you the cushioning you know a thing with these guys um, well I can tell you that that uh, they are very affordable they run about uh, 15 16 dollars the set of tools and it's handy to have but uh, I mean you can purchase them everywhere online including in my store in the tools and uh, um, compartment department whatever but um, let me see if I can uh, show you how to um, to work with the uh, something else okay that you uh, can have at home so you need something pointy uh, like this is the um, the stick you know and and uh, let's see how it works so you put your flower in here particular this one we're gonna do each petal we're gonna just rub that in there okay this is too thick too wide we need something more mm, smaller okay let me see the glue the glue topper <laughs> okay I'm just gonna try okay it's it's e6000 okay so ta -da! okay it curled your petal okay each other petal you just press it in so you don't have to have the tools so but I have the tools so let me use it okay it's much handier to okay so this and here you have two so it's up to you which way you want it to curl okay so we did like each other so now we flip and the ones that weren't processed do them the other way and you see I'm not touching the flower I'm doing it with a tool with a flower tool tool whatever not tool tool okay so and you will make something like this okay so go over this guys go over this guys do them all each other petal one side you're gonna wind up with two together and then another way the um, other side the ones that you didn't process okay so go over those I will go over them and and I'll be back okay I'm done with this pile okay put that aside now you can do um, the same thing with the little ones but just you know curl them all up like this really quickly Oops, the other side I'm using the larger one because I want them, you know, kind of curl a little bit like this, like a cherry blossom. If you will use the smaller um, tool, it will be a much different effect. So it will be doing just the petals more, you know. It doesn't matter really okay done um, next we're gonna take the um, so it was smaller then we're gonna take the middle of rosette okay and in here you're gonna need just to clip them all deeper Clip them deeper. Just try not to cut the petal. Okay, so you will have something 
like this more deeper and uh, do a little bit of curling for the uh, for the um, center oops I forgot to clip on can you see clip I want um, the petals being more fluffy so with the uh, let me show you one more time on the brighter side of the flower clipping them almost to the center but not all the way to the center and when you roll in your tool around roll along the side of the petal like this on the curve pressing because if you're gonna do a cross that's gonna curl your flower like this but you want just to leave the edge so you do this okay so that's well actually I did the wrong side <laughs> yeah okay like this you see and a paper is very flexible and it's easy to do so do that to um, all of your small ones and on the large ones on the large ones I want you to cut them deeper to the center like we did with this ones And in the next step I will show you so you would have them like this much deeper and it's not important how you know thing it is so um, in the next step I, I will finish with that and I will show you what to do next okay so I finished cutting you know all this um, things and here is a quick reminder what are we doing that's how the flower looks okay so you need your heat gun ready to go and we'll start with the uh, um, petal we'll take the largest flower and you already cut it more deep so what you do just simply folding folding your petals like this you can just squish them and you apply a little bit of glue in here and a little bit glue in here and you close your petal for those who is not used to hot glue please wear your safety the rubber you know those rubber ends so do the same in here okay and continue with the um, Folding, creating a pointy, you know, pointy end. Okay, so it's simple as that. And uh, you see, uh, you that's why I was telling you that you do not need to ink the uh, the, the back. But I am. 
You see, because you don't see that at all. You won't see that at all. So you, you roll in the whole pedal in, so therefore there is no need to waste your time and ink and everything, unless you don't have anything to do, which is not the case in here, but yay, I want to be, it, it has to be what it has to be, you know, and a lot of crafters have the same type of attitude, they just cannot help themselves, so you created something like this, and we're gonna need to do couple so choose yours whichever let me see so I would have um, spread it I can do this and you need two and I have like one and one okay let's do another petal best way to use your scraps and if you don't have this die you can simply draw five petal one two three four five six petal flower okay oops didn't bend it <laughs> talking so, yeah, it's like six petal flower and, um, and just, you know, just snip the ends with your uh, fancy scissors, you know, one of those with the edges, so any edge will do zigzag or whatever, or filigree type of one so while I'm doing that you can go and get um, like a little snippets of the lace like scraps of the lace like that okay so and if it's gonna be like blue what I like to do in the blue tones I just put in my um, piece of lace into and it's this is the cotton lace that you can buy in my store and it takes ink so well um, for the perfectionist you can do this I'm gonna regret that after you've done your thing but then you're gonna need to dry and that's what I I'm gonna press the time right now so therefore I'm not gonna be doing that so I'm gonna just, you know, this I'm gonna be drying. Let me wipe that mat in here. So I'm gonna be doing just dry inkage. But if you will do, if you will do the other way, you would have really good blend and coverage, you know, on your lace. So you can do that okay and now let's see I started with the um, with that flower and I'm gonna grab a couple of this and I really like to kind of layer flower first then this one gonna be the next one 
then um, I'm gonna get that one or maybe a cream one maybe whatever so that one we're gonna be sticking somewhere on the line the lace snippets of lace so that then we're gonna need to roll one don't we okay you're gonna need to roll one do one of this flower like this the pointy way finish that and um, I'll be back I'll show you next step okay so that's what you have to have for your flower you uh, have to have two large flowers put into the stars like that you want to have their tiniest one one you want to have a snippet of the lace inked you have to have two rolled stars flowers and you have to have two of the middle rosettes one turned into the star and another rolled okay let's get going put in this one uh, on a decision which layer goes when um, you saw me kind of switching I was thinking if I will put this one then the next one this one then the problem is when I am putting the next one it's a light color and I do not want to have uh, light on light I would like to have something like this so therefore I'm changing that's how I'm thinking so put your glue press put your glue and try to put it in between you know like tilt twist it so the petals would not be you know they would be slightly in between each other so you would be closing that opening okay so the next star gonna go like this you see what I'm saying if you'll take a look on this opening from here to here I want my petal look in between So now it's a good time to put your snippet anywhere you see like an opening okay then we'll take our round one to cover all this central mess Wait a frame. So then you can put your um, this size pointy one again try to turn it the way the petals would be in between of the petals okay. sorry my um, printer decided to decalibrate and then we're gonna put this center and it's too much print so I'm probably gonna go with the um, regular one and then it's your flower is almost done so now it's up to you what do you want to put in the center do you want to put the bling do you want not I actually what I did on that flower I had like um, 
like this too you see from the bling so snip those off and the rain starts of course we just sorry for the noise so just carefully do not burn yourself ow no I'm just kidding <laughs> So, and that one gives you the look of the button. And here is your flower, bright and shiny. Okay, so um, what I did with that flower, because it's a uh, sea, like a, it's actually a By the Sea a Graphic 45 collection. If you're wondering, um, I'm using the um, glossy accents to bring uh, the images alive. Let me show you right in here. Can you see the by the sea and the shells? They are glossy. That's why I'm <laughs> glossy accents. Yes. So. And you can do the um, touch-ups on a lot of things. Um, so, um, like on this um, little tag in there, do you see this octopus? And I wetted him. And by the sea, I want it to be more glossy. I wetted that with the glossy accents. And I actually wetted the ends of the petals. So, it's up to your artistic eye which petal you want to um, you want to wet. But I would say, am I in a frame? So I would apply on the ends of this pointy, the large flower, and you definitely do it after you put the flower together. You don't want to wait on those to dry so do all the pointies pointy ends okay and I did the touch up in the center on the little one it actually brightens the color of the paper and let it sit if you want to add your um, ribbons or laces on the bottom so that's gonna be a really good um, way the same I ink I was inking you know the scraps of lace or ribbon or seam binding and you can find all of this in my store and you can add a couple tags in here so and that would be your um, flower very very um, sea fishy <laughs> so um, there you have it thanks for watching talk to you later bye